Hello and welcome to a new video about pneumatics. This time we want to look again into the structure of a pneumatic system and summarize all the things we have learned up to now. Yeah? And I will also give a first impression. Usually we draw them from bottom to the top. Yeah? So every thing which is on top depends on the things which is on the bottom. Yeah? So the signal, signal is from bottom to the top. This is also in the schematics which we are learning in next video. It's also the same. Yeah? So what is the foundation of everything yeah, in a pneumatic system? That's the energy supply. Yeah? So at the bottom we have energy supply. What belongs to this part, energy supply part? Yeah. Here we usually have pneumatic system, we usually have a compressor. Yeah. Then we have a pressure tank. Yeah. Then we have uh, uh, the, the treatment. Yeah. With oiler. Pressure regulating. And filter. energy supply. After the energy supply part, we have the electrical energy. And then we said in our uh, structure, in our control structure, we have the signal input. Signal recording, signal input. How are those things usually done uh, in, in a pneumatic system? Well, we have their so-called wave valves. With buttons. Rolls, levers. What wave valves are, we will hear rather, we will hear during this series of videos, yeah, what a wave valve is. Yeah. Then we have we have a proximity switch. Yeah. Air barrier. If the air barrier is broken, then something needs to be uh, between the nozzle. And the, and the measurement device. Yeah? Signal input. Okay. After the signal input, there's the signal processing. Here we have the signal processing. Without input, I cannot process anything, so this is on top of the input. Yeah? Signal Processing. Yeah. What is used in signal processing? Yeah, there we are also using usually wave valves. Again, what a wave valve is, we will hear. Yeah, then we're using a, a pressure valve. Yeah, we we are using, uh, you know, and and. So called and and or valves, I will be called them and and or valves now. Yeah, that we can combine two signals if both are there or only one is there. Uh, yeah, something like this. Yeah. These are typical uh, pragmatic processing elements. Okay. Then there's the signal output. Yeah. 
or a switching element, which is switching, yeah. also called switching element, which is switching the energy out of the signal processing. There's a command issued and the signal output will switch according energy. And here we are also using wave valves. Here's the wave valves, wave valves, wave valves. Wave valves are important. Yeah? Signal output. And then we have the execution part. This is the working part, okay? With the working elements. In pneumatics, these are cylinders, these are motors, and these are turbines. Of different kinds, we also get to know quite a lot of uh, switching elements. A lot of those variants, we will learn how they look like. So this is how we draw or explain a pneumatic system from bottom to the top. Supply, input, processing, output, execution. Okay. This is the typical structure. Sensor, processing, actuator. These things are also called actuators. And those things are usually called sensors. Okay. So this is the signal direction. Da, 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 da. These are the parts of a pneumatic system. Yeah? Next time we're going to talk about schematics. Schematics is a way on how to draw the, all those parts yeah? with the help of symbols. How this is done yeah? and how to identify all those parts which are used inside there, we will run in next video. For this time, I say thank you very much for listening and goodbye.